Hello guys and welcome back to Be Truth with your host Mark Luther. Today's video we are doing a day of mining video. Of course today is the 24th of uh, April 2018 and today we are mining some Zcash because um, the reason we're mining Zcash is because the prices are going up. We're on a bull run. It has been confirmed. Okay, before we get in a bull trap, which I'm really worried about. And another thing that is great that Zcash is not profitable to mine because now it's above two hundred dollars and above like now it's nearly like three hundred dollars last time i checked let me just reload coin market cap for a second and we go for zcash yes it's going on a bull run but let me just tell you something we're having a hash rate about 857 now the hash rate is uh, growing but the problem is that the hash rate is not really big because we started a few hours ago so that means that it doesn't show that big of a difference so i stopped mining verge okay and now with the balance of 1.98 dollars and uh, on the miner pro with two gtx 1080s gig gigabyte models we have eight gigabytes on them payments we have nearly 52 payments nearly the 53rd payment is coming and we've been mining zcash since the 5th of february 2018 Okay, before that I was mining on NiceHash, I think all the records has been deleted because NiceHash keeps formatting all their records every 30 days. Anyways, a month it's predicting $87, which is really not great, but hopefully with this bull run we might see bigger gains than what we're seeing now. Here's all the shares, of course the workers, and now if we go on the cryptocurrency market, we're seeing a bit of, um, let's say... Uh, a lot of uh, bull run okay we're seeing Bitcoin rising hundred dollars nearly every hour okay and really this hype is not good okay I'm like really history is repeating itself what I'm worried about is that Bitcoin will rise okay, in price people will become greedy financial institutions will become greedy everyone will have this greed in them and then this hype will go up and up and then it will fall just like the December hype. So I think I learned my lesson from December. I think we should learn this lesson while we're going up, okay? The market cap is 429 billion. So now the market cap is really reaching about nearly half a trillion dollar market cap. We're reaching a huge milestone again. We are reversing, okay? There's a huge bull run coming. NEO is $83, Bitcoin Cash has saw more than 100% gain in the last week, I think, and $1,483. Of course, Pigeon Coin or Pigeon Coin or whatever people are calling it, it's different names, still not listed on CoinMarketCap. I really just lost faith in that project, but I have half of the supply, like nearly 5000 or 6000 If the price goes up, I sell off, not, I keep it. Anyways, the Zcash is $326 and Binance Coin is $15. I put in my crypto picks. At the moment, at that time when I put it in my crypto picks, it was like eight or nine dollars. Now it's fifteen dollars. That's a really good price. Now Verge is the biggest problem. Now my money is really just frozen in Verge because um, while I was day trading Verge, the price dumped really just significantly, just like instantly. So now I have still some Verge in order to sell. So I'm waiting until the price goes up and I sell my Verge and go day trading on other coins. Because Verge doesn't seem to have these peaks and these dumps like before. It doesn't have that volatility. It's just remaining really plateauing, okay? We're having Steam on $3.46. Dogecoin around like nearly hopefully reaching a cent by the end of this month but anyways what i'm really worried about is the hype and now you are going to see this in the piece of news in this article routers survey at least 56 finance firms will enter crypto in next six months now it is great news to have like a lot of money invested in but what you're always worried about that you are going to have this hype you're having this greed and then you're having this dump so it's like a bubble reforming again okay so um let's see here 20 percent of financial firms want to start buying and selling digital tokens 2018 according to a range of 
over 400 undisclosed businesses surveyed by Thomson Reuters, one in every five have plans to begin direct contact with cryptocurrencies assets in the next 12 months, which began including uh, Bitcoin sentiment in its uh, data feeds last month, did not mention the nature. Uh, nonetheless, 70% of those who said yes to crypto in 2018 also said they are planning to begin within the next uh, three to six months okay translating into at least 56 new players offering cryptocurrency in some form by to, uh, like by october of this year the positive outlook reflects the overall wave of enthusiasm which uh, has uh, character characterized um, crypto markets in april now here is the problem Current prices estimates range from $25,000 to $100,000 by year and of for Bitcoin. Now, this that's a really great price, but if they are saying the price of Bitcoin is going to reach $100,000, if it's going to reach $100,000, okay, if it's that prediction, that means we will have such a pump that's so unhealthy to the market that will result result in such a dump okay that's so common sense and you might just attack me on this video you might just like write just down the comments below you are just like saying just some fud now i'm happy that we're having this pump but what i'm worried about is the huge dump the huge like problem that is coming okay this is the problem greed people start buying in buying in more and more and more and then it dumped people now losing in the thousands now the market is regaining and what i think is that at the current moment like let's say you bought bitcoin at nine thousand dollars you sell a partial like some percentage at ten thousand and some percentage and eleven thousand so you minimize your risk don't really maximize your risk yet on twenty thousand dollars exactly i'm going to sell my crypto assets or bitcoin at least so really just set a target i would recommend that you have like some stages when selling this what i have during a pump because i don't know when the pump dump is coming when the bear trap is going to come where is the problem okay you don't know what might happen this is such a volatile speculative market now um hopefully we will just like minimize our losses during this pump hopefully we'll just at least i'll sell a lot of my um like a bitcoin that i bought like before in that hype at least and just profit a bit just cash out and then when bitcoin if it dumps like december's uh, hype and then dump i would sell m i would buy more bitcoin and vice versa anyways there's uh, in my comments there's a spam comment by this guy called wilt killenberg and the problem is uh, this spammy comment Okay, the reason it's a spammy because it's just saying it's a financial advice and it get, and he gave his email and his WhatsApp number. Now, the really the wrong like really which is really just making me irritated is the reason that this comment I, I actually cleaned it like I actually removed it like a few weeks ago by another person who has a Chinese profile picture and it's the same comment copy pasted but with the change of the email and the whatsapp number so guys if you see this email whatsapp number just sign it up for uh, just any stupid newsletters any spam emails just send them anything because such people okay you need to understand that these people are not financial advisors they just tell you things based on history and they're going to show you oh yeah i'm a financial advisor if you're a financial advisor if you're a real financial advisor firstly you would have a website you would be a real person and you wouldn't be hiding behind the uh, stock image okay a random photo with a random name under a random email so i really just always suspicious of these uh, like of these comments and i think other youtube um, commentators and uh, like crypto youtubers in the space always deletes their comments because uh, i think it, they're spammy and really annoying as you can see bitcoin has gained about 20 dollars 
when we started this video. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. It has been Mark Luther with you on today's video, Dale Mining video. And if you have any suggestions, anything, just comment down below. If you have a different viewpoint, if you like, want to discuss a certain thing, just comment down below or join our Discord server. All links are down below with our social media links. So thank you guys for watching and see you guys on the next video.